what I like to do is I like to go back on chart. Anytime I see a big drop off or a big like there's activity going on. Any big movement or anything that immediately catches your eye. Like if you guys pull this chart up instantly, your eyes are going to be drawn to this right here, right? Like, wow, that's a big drop off from there to there. So what I do, I'll go in and I'll zoom in on this and I'll just look at it and I'll admire it. Like I tell you guys, when you look at charts, you want to look at it in a way like it's art. You're all going to spot things differently. You're all going to pick up on things differently. You're go We're all going to look at it differently. And it's all about how you perceive it. Where do you see opportunity? I say that to you guys all the time. Your eyes are going to naturally pick up on patterns. Like you got, you can easily identify a triangle or a wedge right there. You're instantly gonna identify u shaped like this because we're all taught to look out for this type of stuff all of us you even got another wedge right here so everybody's taught to look out for all these different types of chart patterns and it's real popular with people they like to look out for that but i'll go back and i'll see that this big drop off here i'll note like it fell from 35 it had a drop here all the way to 25. So 25 was resistance. And I'll draw these lines out. And they got drilled all the way down here to 21 it looks like. Right there. And then I'll go back and I'll put it together. Like okay. There's a wedge right there. Stock fell through that wedge right here. And it grinded back up and it found resistance right there from where that wedge dropped off it pulled back again got up above it it was trying to hold reclaim where it fell from that wedge here and it did it, it got up over it and when it pulled back look at all here it held above from that wedge right here that's what i'd be putting together and looking at for this chart got a nice surge up here pulled back down see how it bounced right there real briefly right when that market opened then it fell through and what happened was they trapped shorts right there they trapped shorts and then they brought it right back up and they rip it right back up to day high comes back down again holds just about at that area from that wedge right here notice how i keep coming back to that wedge this is the source right here and it's at that $21 that I'm focusing on that $21. So I'm putting it all together, revolving it all around areas of interest, what I'm seeing on the chart. We got the day highs up here at that $24. Stock runs up here up to a new high, comes back down right here. Now it's holding and bouncing off of that high, that high, and even all the way back here, that high. These were all areas of interest. Bounces off of that. Volume was retracing the whole day while it was doing that. And then you got a volume surge right there. Volume lifts up off of that. Retest its high multiple times. It's just all about putting it together. And you guys should be going through these charts and doing what I'm doing here. And it's repetition. Practice. 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 Repetition. You're going to get faster, you're going to get better, and then you can whiz through these charts like I am right here. You just got to dedicate yourself and apply yourself, as Walter White says from Breaking Bad. Apply yourself to the equation. Apply yourself. That's all I ask. Just apply yourself to put stuff together like that. And see how I'm not using indicators. I'm not using a MACD, Kettler channels. I'm not using anything fancy. All I'm using are candlesticks, volume, price action, and areas like price levels. I'm keeping it simple. Very, very, very bare bones simple. And I've been breaking all of this down on a one minute chart. I didn't go through and break it all down on a 10 minute chart or a daily chart too. It's you got to start from the top and work your way down. It all comes from practice, you guys, practice.